Welcome back, everybody, to another Halloween-themed GoGo's Crazy Bones pack opening. We've been doing this for a couple of years now. If you haven't checked out the previous videos from the past couple of years of these Halloween openings, go check those out here. But we are jumping back into two of my favorite series from GoGo's Crazy Bones. We've got the classic nostalgic GoGo's Crazy Bones McDonald's Happy Meal toy set that we are going to be opening up today we've got the full set here all 12 of the packages you could get in your classic 2000s happy meal and we're going to be looking for some metals and some very cool jellies and checking out the very exclusive halloween themed characters that came in these packs werewolves and mummies and pumpkins and witches fun set super fun set and if you're not subscribed already make sure to hit subscribe because next week we are going to be jumping into the ghost series this is by far one of my favorites like i said i love the figures in this set super super cool these packs come from italy actually they're from the international release of the ghost series these are going to be super fun to open up with you guys we're going to be doing that next sunday at noon don't miss it but let's waste no more time let's start opening up these mcdonald's happy meals toys come with me and enjoy the nostalgia and happy halloween that's a lot of happy meal toys yeah all right we got all of them out here all 12 we've got what we got here number two which is sweetie and webs we got number nine which is scraps and music i think last time let me just clear these on out here what did i grab this time wow and rascal i think last time i went in order one to 12 and then i waited on eggy for the last which i believe is in number four for the package because you know you gotta save eggy for last but i think this time i'm just gonna grab at random and see what we find why not let's just do it let's uh get a little crazy here with our go go themed video why not we've already got this one so we're just gonna start with this one i guess uh, i forget how easy these are to open from what i remember sometimes they can be a pain in the butt but that one wasn't too bad what do we got we got wow and rascal i love wow there is our first wow we've got a nice teal Nice teal color, very, very sharp, very cool looking. I like it. Just a simple one, no big deal though. And then we got the cards. Some of them come in this plastic wrap, some of them don't, but we did get the wow card. I don't think you're always guaranteed to get the same one with the same go-go. Sometimes you'll get random ones. I do like that they try to keep them in the plastic though. So when I get the ones in the plastic, that's pretty nice for me. What do we got here? We've got Rascal, one of my favorites in the nice. Halloween orange looking stellar. He looks clean. Very, very sharp. I brightened up the lighting a little bit. I think that's going to work a little bit nicer just to check out all the nice details on these guys. You can see they got the stamp. It's number eight, magic box, whatever. And what we got here, we've got the, oh, I don't know if I've noticed that before. What does that say? So for Mickey D Corporation made in China, right on the edge there. Interesting, but a sharp looking rascal. All right, what are we going to grab next? Number nine, music and scraps. Music can look pretty nice in this series, although it's not one of my like top favorites. Scraps is fun. I would love to get him in a nice looking jelly or something, but see, we've got Lucky in this one in the plastic still, so that's good. Uh, Scraps, I believe, is the werewolf, and I don't have a very super good jelly of him, so let's see what we got in this one. We've got Music out first in that nice teal once again, just like wow, and there we go. Oh, it looks like your sides are like just sawed off here. Very, very flat on either side. Very interesting. I want a variety of colors. I don't want to just keep getting teal, but it's okay. Oh, wait, no, Scraps is the Scarecrow. Oh, I'm silly. Okay, I forgot, I forgot. That is just par for the course for me, forgetting the names. But this is a fantastic looking lime green Scraps. That is a sharp, sharp looking lime green. Number nine in the series. Very, very cool. I'd love to paint this guy. That is the one nice thing about these. You can paint them pretty easily. Here's one I painted in a similar color green. We painted the, the witch here. Came out pretty nice. It was kind of like my tester one a little bit. And then I also did Rascal from a nice bone white and just gave him some emphasis, a little grunged up, blacked out his eyes a bit. They look really cool painted. I, I can't wait to do more of these. In fact, right now I'm working on the bat one. So Hopefully by the time this video is edited, I'll have that done and I'll post a picture here. And if I didn't, then uh, nothing will be there. So hopefully I finish it. Another one. We've got number two, Sweetie and Webs. Let's get Sweetie out of the way. That's fine with me. I'm, I'm not a fan of Sweetie. Not a fan of Sweetie. Uh-oh, we've got one that's not in the plastic wrap. Okay, okay. We've got Smiley here. Card's a little bent out of shape. That's all right. 
And we've get one of these, which is always funny. You can win that $25,000 scholarship, Ronald scholarship. Let's see what we won inside this thing. Yeah, can't use them anymore. So we might as well check them out and see what we would have gotten. Look inside, uh, did we not get anything? This just has, where does moonlight come from? The answer, it's reflected sunlight. Wow, I thought it was like, kind of like a thing where you could get a free burger or something. Maybe other ones are like that. We'll have to check out the rest if we get them. First up, let's get out Sweetie here. Sweetie in a very obnoxious yellow. Now this yellow is pretty good actually. I like the brightness of it, but in this lighting, holy crap, this thing is just off the charts, wildly bright. Jeez, oh pizza. Now there's Sweetie for you. Good detail on her at least. Sometimes Sweetie's detail can get a little funky, but this one's not too bad. What is the next one? We've got webs in here. Ah, and we get a nice lime green webs, just like we did scraps, very sharp. I love the detail on this one. This is one, if you get a darker one of him, it'll really lose that detail. I mean, just look at the face on this guy. He's got an excellent looking face, honestly. It looks really, really nice. But sometimes on those darker ones, you just can't appreciate it. Perfect. All right, two of those lime greens. That's not bad. Up next is number seven, Chef and Drac. Okay, Drax, I've gotten several glow in the darks from him. Uh, so I don't really need any more glowies. What am I hoping for, for for Drax? I'm not sure exactly. Let's pull out the card. We've got it back in the plastic. Cool dude making his appearance. The first appearance here on a sticker card. And where is, oh, we got Drax and we got it in a nice sharp purple. Check him out. That is one of those metallic-y purples. That is excellent looking. Ooh, he's got a booty on him. He's got a big old Go-Go's booty. Interesting, he's like bulged out a little bit more than usual, I think. But again, very sharp, very nice. A good little metallic purple. I'm a fan of this purple. I do have it though. Well, kind of, kind of. This is, you can see there's a little bit of a difference. A little bit of difference in quality too. This is one I pulled maybe last year. And you can see this is like more of a matted. This is more of a metallic-y. And I would say this mold is a little bit bigger and a little bit cleaner actually. So that's interesting. Another one of the series that have a lot of variety to it. All right, chef, what do we got? We've got a metallic -y green for chef. Mm, licking his lips, licking his chompers. He's such a skinny boy comparatively. He doesn't have the big fat booty. He's more of a pancake butt on chef here, but that's okay. He's easily topped over. That's okay though. And honestly, yep, yeah, I do have a duplicate of him as well. So two duplicates from this pack. Number 11, lucky 11. We've got Top Hat and Doc. Doc is a phenomenal looking figure, especially in the metals. I've gotten two, I think I have two silvers of Doc and he looks phenomenal. He looks absolutely phenomenal. So I need him in a gold still. So let's hope for a gold or something. We got Top Hat in the nice little card. Very good, very good. And who are we gonna pull out first here? Let's try to grab Top Hat. Yep, bang, we've got like a nice little pink, pink version. Now you gotta look all around these guys because sometimes they'll be hiding a little bit of a tie-dye effect. Like some of the tie-dye isn't the best on these. He's got a little ding there kind of from the molding, but some of the tie-dye kind of sits at the bottom or on the back side. That's why you kind of have to flip around and look. I actually didn't do that for some of these other ones. I might have to double check them. Let's see, anybody else got some tie-dye on their booty? Nothing, nothing. I don't think these will have any. No, nothing, no tie-dyes yet. Let's get Doc out. Maybe he can shift us around here. Oh my gosh, another lime. It is just filled with these lime times today. Holy crap. That is crazy. He is cool though. I do like Doc. He is a nice looking figure. I love the swirly eyes. I love his crazy mouth. Such a cool mouth. And he's just got a nice little feel to him, honestly. He's, he's, a, he's not even like that top heavy. You'd think he'd be a little top heavy, but I think he stands like pretty nicely. Oh, we're cutting him off on the camera. There we go. Let's aim it down a little bit. Whoop, we've got number three, cool dude and Haggy. Haggy. Ah, see, I thought Haggy was the scarecrow or something. No, Haggy is the witch, isn't it? Yeah, Hag, the old Hag. Yep, that makes sense, it's the witch. All right, let's pull out the card. We got Smiley again, duplicate card. We already got you, so no big deal. Have we checked out the back at all? It gives you some on the line great game rules. Probably some other ones too on certain other cards. And we'll pull out Cool Dude first in that classic green. Nothing too crazy to see here. He's a very similar kind of metallic -y, more green like chef over there. And Hag, what do we got for Hag? Whoa, 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 whoa. That is a really weird see. Okay, this one's like a muted purple, but let's see if we can flip him. He does, or she does, 
have tie-dyed going on in the back hair parts. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if we can get a little zoom in here. All right, check it out. You can see a little tie-dye of green going on in the back hair. That's kind of what you need to be looking for on these guys. That's that's about it for some of the tie-dyes on these dudes. You can't see it on the face or the front, maybe a slight bit right here on the hair, but the majority of it is just the little swirls on the back. Kind of weird. But we'll add it to the little collection here and we'll keep going with number 12, Smiley and Lucky. Lucky is the cat, Smiley is pretty cool. I like Smiley's figure in this set. You've seen them a couple times on our little cards. So we don't have to do much. Oh, oh, okay, guys. Okay. We just got a plastic wrapped go go, which means we got some type of metal. Whenever they're plastic wrapped, you get them a, a metal, like either a gold or a silver. I don't think you get the glow in the darks. <gasps> oh, but speaking of glow in the darks, we do get our lucky cat glow in the dark. That is fan freaking tastic. Look at you. Fantastic. I don't have her. I don't have her in the glow in the dark. So that's a great addition. I want to get a whole, a whole set of the glow in the darks of these guys. So that's a goal of mine as well, along with obviously the metals. <laughs> oh, did you like my creepy Halloween noises? I had to go reach for my black light so we could kind of show off this a little bit. You can kind of see it. I'd have to show off the other lights. Sometimes it comes out good on the camera. Sometimes it doesn't. You can see it glowing a little bit, but not, not quite. Let's get a little detail here like this. Can you, can you see the glowy going? Yeah, there we go. It's getting the glow going. Yeah, the flashes of green on Lucky over here. Very cool. Good find. Now, let's see. We got Smiley in some sort of metal. Ha-bang! Oh, we've got them in the nice metallic silver. Let's get it. That is great. I love when they come plastic wrapped. They don't always, I should rephrase that they don't always come plastic wrapped. Did we not pull out the card? We didn't pull out the card on this one. It's Rascal. Do I have Smiley? No, I do not have Smiley in a silver. Perfect. I actually have a lot of silver. I think I only have like one or two gold. So this is a good addition to my silver collection. Yeah, they don't always come plastic wrapped, which is interesting but I definitely like when they do. That way it doesn't get dinged up or messed up. The silvers look so good though. They look so, so good. Check him out on this nice big go-go figure. It just looks incredible. It catches the light like no other. You can see it's already getting my fingerprints on it. That's part of the reason it's in the plastic wrap too. It gets dirty pretty fast. So I'll already have to clean them up a little bit once the video ends, but Super, super nice. Love this guy. Look at it just catching every single reflection and mirroring everything in the room right now. I've got like five different lights on. It's just catching all of them. Looks incredible. I dig it. Perfect. A glowy and a metal. That was a great one. We need that for Eggy. But first, before we get into Eggy, I honestly haven't reached over to grab Eggy yet. We still have number six here. We've got Tut and Goody Goody. Goody Goody Goody. Okay, Goody Goody. What are you going to give to us? And we've got Tut, which is our nice mummy figure. All right. I don't feel any, any of the plastic wrap in this one. But we do have Menace in the card. I love Menace. we got to open him up and see if I get something good. I would love a nice jelly Menace. That would be fantastic. He's one of my favorites from the classic series. Okay. Goody, goody. Ooh. A nice teal, actually. But it's like a metal teal comparatively. So let's compare with music here. You can see she's got a little shimmer shine to it. It's very interesting. I much prefer this. That looks pretty freaking cool comparatively. Okay, okay. Very good, very good. A nice shiny little teal. And we've got Mummy. Ooh, looking fresh and grungy in that nice dark green with the tie-dyed black. I honestly love the tie-dyed black on like the orange and the green specifically for this set. It looks chef's kiss awesome it goes great with the halloween theme colors and you can see it just streaking all across here really really nice really cool it's going all up in his eye it's even got like the black right on the spider a little bit really sharp oh look at the inside the mouth can you get inside the mouth here a little bit maybe there you go you can kind of see it's got this nice little swirl going inside the mouth that is a really excellent piece i dig that would love to get more of those tie dyes like that that is really cool all right my hand touched eggy but i grabbed this one which is right behind and it is speedy and fangs all right speedy and fangs i like it i like it let's see what our luck's gonna be on this one 
clink clink you can hear them clinking in the package <gasps> oh 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 guys oh wait a second hold on i felt plastic wrap but it might have just been music although maybe there is one more in there let me see i'm not going to tell you if i feel one or not i'm just going to pull out speedy bang there is our speedy boy look at him he is sharp speedy's another good one he's very similar to menace he's got that big bulbous top i always just like these guys because they felt very marble-esque you could just flick them perfectly in the original classic series a super super cool figure i love the little lightning bolt on his head He's a sharp one. He's cool. He is just in a green, though. Put him on the side there, and we will reveal Fangs, our bat. Oh, it's another one of these grungy boys. Let's get it. Not as pronounced black. It's kind of more of a gray tie-dyed look on this one, but it is pretty sharp. You can see it on the back wing here a bit. Pretty freaking cool. What is the number on you? Number 10? You're number 10. Okay. It's always weird. This mold always trips me up when I see the wings kind of are disconnected almost from the back of the head. It's really interesting. But all right. So now we got two of these grungy, I don't know what you'd call it, green tie-dyed monstrosities. Super cool figures though for Halloween. I love getting those. I know I said that already, but you know, it is what it is. What do we got? We got Menace. Oh, we got Menace here. Menace and Boo. Menace and Boo. Two of my favorites. Probably number five is my top pick. If I had to get one of these in a Happy Meal, I would love to get Menace and Boo. I love the ghost figure. I love Menace. Fantastic. Obviously, Eggy comes first because who doesn't want to get the Eggy? Uh, but if I had another choice, if I couldn't pick Eggy, then it would probably be this one because I absolutely, I love Boo and Menace is just top dog. So let's get the Menace out. Ooh, it's a shiny metallic royal blue banger. His head is so big, it covers up his whole face in shadow. Holy crap. I've got such a light going on these guys too. It's crazy and it feels like you can't even see them. But there you go. Really, really cool. He is a metal figure, not a metal, not metallic, but he's got a metal sheen to him which I like. They really add just a little extra flair. They look so much nicer than just the base matted color. We got to get the card out here. What do we have for the card? We've got Chef. His card is a little curled, as you can see. That's just, that's normal. They've been in here for, oh my goodness, 23 years? 23 years this pack has been sealed. And we get a awesome lime green boo. That is cool, man. Do I have a lime green of you? I don't know. I know I have a couple green and I have a really cool jelly boo, but I don't think I have a lime lime green. So this could be a new addition for me, which is excellent. He almost gives off a little bit of a metallic -y vibe, kind of, mm, not quite. Pulling my extra stand here, we'll get some extra height going so we can start seeing all the figures instead of them blocking each other. Okay, all right, I've, I've delayed it long enough. We've got number four with the Eggy in it and we've got number one with Funny Bone and Howler. Let's just get the Eggy done. We'll finish up with Funny Bone and Howler. Why not? Uh, let's see, let me feel around. I don't really hear it clinking too much, so maybe we get extra lucky in this bad boy. That'd be incredible. I would love, 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 love to pull a metal eggy on camera. That would be so sick. Let's pull out the card first. It is in a little packaging. We got Punky here. Good old Punky. Where's Punky? Is he in this one? No, Punky's in this one. Yeah, he's with he's with Eggy. I'm such a goof. All right, I completely forgot. All right, we're not going to reveal Eggy yet. We're going to get out Punky first. And we've got a nice purple Punky. Another kind of different tone of purple. It's not that faded purple. It's not that metallic-y purple. It's just kind of the normal matted purple for Punky. And nothing too crazy here with this one, but he is a cool figure. I like him. I do want to paint this one as well. I'm probably going to get an orange base that I have and paint on that one to fit the pumpkin vibe. All right. All right, Eggy. What do we got in here? I don't feel plastic, but there's there's always a chance. You never know. Kabang. Oh, okay. All right. We got a green boy, Eggy. I think I have a green boy, Eggy. Yeah, I do. I do. But he's faded. He's a little bit faded. So this is a cleaner version of the Eggy I already have. This is a nice, crisp clean green eggy machine he looks sick i do really love this big bad boy eggy from the mcdonald's series he's such a nice one that i just like the size of these guys they're they're perfect they're perfect for this set it's a great happy meal toy eggy will join the ranks up top and we will close it out here with the first one number one of the mcdonald's happy meal toys funny bone and howler give me something good let's finish off strong here give me at least one more glowy one more metal 
If we don't find it, that's okay. Guys, I love getting these sets. I usually get myself a full set of these at least once a year just because they're fantastic. Where's the thing for this? Ah, all right, there we go. We got it open. So you better believe that I'm going to be doing more of these next year because I'm obsessed. Oh, this one's not in a package. The card isn't in a package. Let's get it out, not reveal anything. We've got Lucky in the card. No, no package on it. That's okay. What's our first one here? We got Funny Bone and... Funny bone, let's get it in that teal. Okay, where we started is where we end here with that nice teal color. It is cool and I don't have a lot of the teal, but dang, we got like four teal today. That's crazy. We are stacked on teal and green. The lime green was just everywhere. Ooh, we got another one of these. Let's open it up before we get Howler out. Let's see if it gives us something or if it gives us another like riddle thing. Oh, it's just another where does moonlight come from? Okay, that's that's too bad. All right, Howler, let's see what we got here. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Now, this isn't a glowy. This is just a white one, but the whites are super great. And obviously, if you want to do custom work on any of these guys, white is a great, ba great base to go with for these. So a Howler in white, should be pretty fun to paint if you want to paint him. Really sharp, he's a little bit dirty. He got banged up a little bit in the package, but he's not too bad. He's pretty clean. I'll keep him nice, I'll keep him safe now. I'll get him cleaned up. Fantastic, okay, we got some good ones here. Top picks, I don't know. We got some really sharp lime greens. We got a nice orange rascal, only one orange. I think last year I got a bunch of orange, which is crazy. One orange, one yellow, which I've only gotten one other bright neon yellow in the past too so that one's kind of hard to find i feel like notables notables we got our nice little tie-dyed green grungy boys but they're not too crazy i feel like you can get these pretty commonly and we did get naggy but just in a green and of course we've got that banger pack which lucky in the glow in the dark and our several sil silver can't speak silver silver smiley miley oh man that is a great looking pack great looking figures right there Perfect. This guy just makes me want to open up some ghosty boys. Can't wait for this. That's going to do it for today's video. If you stayed all the way to the end, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe again. Ghost series next Sunday, 12 p.m. And if you're hitting up Halloween parties going into next week, make sure to stay safe, enjoy, have fun, and we will see you guys in the next video.